What's up guys, it's me here about us. We're back for some more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we climbed the uh, Pokemon Tower and rescued Mr. Fuji Cartman. <laughs> That's what I'll call him from now on because I gave him a Cartman voice for some reason. I'm not too sure why I gave him that voice, but it was the first voice that just popped into my head to do, so gonna live with that. But today's episode, we are going to be making our way down the ever-winding route that will go on for a long, long time. Look, all of this we are going to be covering within the next couple of episodes. This first episode is probably the only one that's going to have dialogue in it from me, because there's something around here, this area here, that we're going to be sorting out in order to get down here. People who know the game will know what I'm talking about, but people new will not understand what I'm talking about, so we're going to make our way now. Route 12. I don't think there's any trains on No, there's no trains on this part. If we go up here, however, we have got this girl here. Talk to her, she'll give you a move. My Pokemon's ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. Joe received TM27 from a little girl. TM27 is a move called Return. If you treat your Pokemon good, it'll return your love by working its hardest in battle. Oh, that's sad. I don't think this TM was in the first uh, two game series, like in a blue or red or in gold and silver. I don't think it was in there. I think it's a recent one for this. But the idea of it is, the, bi the bigger a bond you have your Pokemon, the more your Pokemon is friendly towards you, the more damage that move does. It's the opposite of frustration, which is, the more your Pokemon hates you, the more damage it does. And the move doesn't have any actual an actual damage limit on it. Well, I'll, just, I'll just show you what I mean. It's a uh, no. Nope, the TM thing is up here. It's TM 27. So where is it? There it is. See, it has no power. And there it says it, the description is: this attack move grows more powerful the more the user likes its trainer. And of course, frustration is the opposite. The more the user, the the less the user likes its trainer. <laughs> so. Into battling time! I'll probably stop dialogue here, but I will be putting music, and I will be talking again at some point, so it's not going to be just music for that entire episode. I cannot say the same for future episodes, so... Cue music! Alright, so here we go. This is the main problem down this road. Fatty Ursa here. Ha ha ha. See what I did there? Um, no, this is Snorlax. You remember me talking about it earlier and how there are two of them in the way? Well, to get to Fushu City, you have to at least beat either one of them to get down the route. So yeah, the cycle path was the one that was being blocked by the other Snorlax. So... What we have to do here is take it out. There's no other way of getting past it. You can't surf yet, and you can only get surf in Fuchsia City. So yeah, <laughs> you have to get past one of them. No other choice. Now, I intend to catch Snorlax, but I'm not going to add it to my party. I want to catch it so that I don't have to worry about catching the other one. Also, if I, manage, if I beat both of them rather than catch them, I can't get it again. And I want to try and complete some of my Pokédex. In fact, I might try and even complete all of it in my spare time when the game's over, just to show you some stuff, but I don't really know about that yet. So yeah, I want to make sure I catch it, so I have gone and put Whitley in front, because he has two like moves that do um, special stats, so that'll be useful. We also got an item that allows us to wake it, the Poké Flute. You play this, it awakes any Pokemon, but I'm not sure if it awakens the opponent's Pokemon too, but it awakens yours, certainly. It certainly awakens wild Pokemon. <laughs> you want to play the Poke Flute? Yes, I do! Joe played the Poke Flute. Some very electronic sounding flute music there. <laughs> Snorlax woke up! It attacked in a grumpy rage! Oh my god, it's an angry Santa! What? 
But either way, there's Snorlax. It's a buddy! He's a big fat one, isn't he? Big fatty! Well, either way, we're going to start off by making sure he can't rest. Stun Spore! And there we go. He's immediately paralysed. This will give us an advantage over Snorlax. It... <laughs> Damn it. His HP is still full. That's a good start, though. So he can't rest. That's a good start. Why did he want to use rest to start with, anyway? Oh, cripes. Hopefully at least Whit Hopefully at least Whitley can get down his health like low enough to you know. God damn it, Whitley! Yes, I wanna use the next Pokemon. I'm going to send out Charlie. No, not Charlie, Electra. In case he does use like rest and then that like, gets rid of um paralysis, then at least I have a way of getting paralysis back. Don't get Yay it gooed! Damn it, Snorlax! Uh, you can't snore! You are awake, dumbass! So far, it hasn't had one problem with paralysis. It's, it's stupid. I haven't got many Pokeballs, but I just hope I'm going to catch it in one of these. Come on, Great Ball, get through for me. One, two... Ow! I thought I had it then. What are you doing, Snorlax? Why bother snoring if you're awake? It just looks like an impression. Ah, that wasn't even a try then. Oh, finally, it can't do anything. Oh, oh, you're paralyzed. Ah, it's not even doing anything anymore. You're lying to me. What was that? Oh my god, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Yes, I want to use next Pokemon. Um, Lamar has the most health, so hopefully he'll be able to withstand any attacks Snorlax gives. Oh, I hate you. You fat prick. He's just like that fat troll who just sits by his computer all day writing troll messages on YouTube. The fat prick who thinks he has a life purely because he says horrible stuff about famous people on the internet. And just sits there eating crackers and cake and all, all day. And he's like got a belly the size of friggin' America. And I just made that up off the top of my head. <laughs> How is he breaking out of all these goddamn grimoires? I should have gone and got some friggin' Ultra Balls, but I don't think we can get them yet. So yeah, unfair much. Unfair much, game. Unfair much. Oh, sh I am intent on making sure he is caught. I am not giving up. Come on, throw the Pokeball! Throw the Pokeball! Ah, it's about to be caught, you stupid b I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Okay, throw another Great Ball. Come on! Do your job! Your job is to catch Pokemon! You are failing at shit. Well, great. That's great. That's that's bloody great. Now I'm gonna spend forever getting him back to sleep. Woohoo! I'm so thrilled. I'm still goddamn asleep. Wake up, Lamar. Wake up. What's the point of using yawn if I'm asleep? Ah! You're driving me insane! No, oh, son of a bitch! Yes, I'll use the next Pokemon. Zool, it's your turn. Go Zool, my Okay, Hypnosis! Woohoo! And he can't wake up now because of the berry! The berry's gone! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Fat guy asleep! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Damn Snorlax! Go to sleep already! I won't you die! As long as he stays asleep, I have a chance. I prefer paralysis over sleep, because paralysis doesn't go away after a certain amount of turns. 
And I like that more than I like sleep, because sleep is unreliable for me. Oh, crap. Oh, he flinched! He flinched! He flinched! Hypnotize him again! Yes! Back to sleep you go! Thank you, God! And now I'm about to fail, aren't I? Because I, I just... Oh, shizzle! I didn't see that coming. I didn't actually expect the AI to be smart enough to figure out to use that. Because... <laughs> I was expecting it to just... Oh, son of a bitch! I'm swearing! Snorlax, you are causing me to swear! That's not a good sign! Come on. Ah! Goddamn great balls! Okay, I'm gonna try a Pokeball. Just to see what happens. If this Pokeball catches it, then oh my god. I thought it was actually going to catch it then. So this is the first goddamn Pokeball I throw, isn't it? Okay, we'll try another Pokeball just to see what happens. Not even a try. He didn't like that at all. Oh, shit. Oh, come on! Give me a chance, game! Give me a chance! You bastards! I hate you. Please die. Gotta take his health all the way down again now. God damn it! I hate you! I hate you! Oh shit! The AI is getting smarter! The world's gonna end in 50 days! Wait, scratch that, make it A day! Cause I'm gonna blow her up with a nuke! The nuke I keep under my bed! Oh crap! Well, that's not a good sign. Uh. No, sis, yay! He's back to sleep. I'm not even taking chances. I'm not even taking a chance. I'm just going to hit it again and hope I don't knock it out. I'm going to hit it with confusion because I think it has good special defense. Yep, that did almost nothing, so I'm going to use confusion again just on the bugger it. Well, I'm not going to use confusion again because Zool is dead. He's not, con he's not knocked out. He's dead. There's a difference. Ah, <laughs> uh, Charlie! Come on, Charlie, please just do this for me! Do this for the rat clan! Oh no, 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 you are kidding me! You are kidding me! You are kidding me, right? You are kidding me! Are you kidding me? You're not kidding, are you? You're not kidding! You, you... I have nothing else to say except F*** YOU! My word. I'm really grumpy, aren't I? I don't think I have any revives. So yeah, I'm F*** it! He's gonna snore, isn't he? No, he's not. Maybe not. Actually, do I have any revives? I doubt it! I doubt it! Um... No, I don't think I do. Oh, no. I have five. I'm gonna waste one, and that will be it. <sighs> Who should I resurrect? Whitley! <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll send out Whitley. Oh, come on! He woke up straight away, and he used snore when he woke up. What? He's gonna rest again, just watch. He is going to rest again. I know how his fat prick works. He's gonna snore. Maybe not. He's snoring what? The AI doesn't seem to understand when the Pokemon is asleep. He's using snore again. Is he out on all his other moves? So he's just resorting to snore. Wow, Snorlax, you are shizzle. I had to say an insult, didn't I? I had to say an insult to make the AI get its revenge. And Charlie's attack missed! His attack missed! When I was about to fall asleep. Of course! Of course! Because it always does that! And it's still got headbutt. This thing is friggin' taunting- Oh, Charlie, wake up straight away. This thing is taunting me! It is taunting me! It has gone to sleep! God- Wow! <laughs> this is the worst thing in all the Pokemon history. 
Snorlax that keeps sleeping! Thank god he doesn't have leftovers. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That caught it! What? What? So you're telling me that a paralyzed Snorlax on one bit of health won't even go past one thing, but a Snorlax that is purely sleeping is easy to catch. I need a second here, guys. My mind has been fucked. <sighs> I don't have a word for that. I just... I can only think of one word. Hell! That was hell! I don't want to experience that again! That. Was. Hell! Look at its freaking description! Very lazy, just eats and sleeps. As its, as its rotund bulk builds, it becomes steadily more slothful. Yeah, that makes sense. Do I want to give it a nickname? Yes, I do! Let's think of one here. Just trying to think of a good nickname for Snorlax. In later generations, you wouldn't be allowed to put swear words in. Thank God this isn't later generations. <laughs> That's what he's being called, fat fuck. Because, God damn it, he is. He is one. <laughs> was transferred to Bill's PC, it was placed in box one. And now, if you'll excuse me, I would like to go heal my Pokemon. For they are dead. Actually, I may as well point out while I'm here, that this is another Pokemon... Professor Oak's aids, and you need to have caught 30 different Pokemon to get this item. If you talk to him and you have 30 Pokemon, he will give you the item finder, which is... It's not brilliant in this game, as the design for it isn't very good, but in later get gens where you get the touch screen, it's a lot better because you can actually see where the item's location is from you. So it's a lot easier to find the items, but it's not dreadful in this game, it's just not easy to use. Now, back to healing my Pokemon. Alright, now that I FINALLY healed my Pokemon after running into every single trainer on Route 11 I didn't take on the last time, we are going to be ending the episode here today. Because I need to go and release the rage. If you're wondering what I'm going to go do, I'm going to go crush a couple of melons with a sledgehammer. Because it's just like splatting open someone's brain. And I need to, I need to actually feel as though I'm killing something. Because that's what happens when I'm angry. And that was painfully annoying. Next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we will be continuing along this route. It will probably be mostly sped up and with music, whereas this episode actually wasn't as much because Snorlax probably took up most of the episode. I haven't got to the editing yet because this is just the recording, so I don't know. Like a favourite if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to Drawing the Icon today, or the Crowbit Italian today. The phone's going, that's why I'm trying to speed up. Uh, haha, <laughs> um, I've lost what I was saying now. If you want to recommend a Pokemon, leave a comment in the subscribe button. Subscribe to Drawing the Icon today. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment in the comment section below. Too many comments in that sentence. I'll see you all next time. Hey, Riders is now going to go crush some melons! <laughs> also, a quick side note for the Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. For, um,. Pokemon Tower, there are only two Pokemon you can catch there. One, actually three Pokemon. Two of them are Haunter and um, Ghastly. What do I think of them? Catch them if you can evolve Pokemon through trade. Because their final evolution is definitely worth it. And also Cubone. What do I think of Cubone? It's a pretty good ground type, but not the best. Catch it for Marowak.